and today we're going to look at something very special. It is Egoist by Sugarbytes. Egoist is a groove machine, it's a jammer, it's an inspiration toolkit. If you're somebody who likes to manipulate samples and get these crazy sounds, this might be something you want to look at. Today we're going to look at some of the presets, uh, overview of some of the features and how it works, and then finally just going to try and make a track together and see what we come up with. One thing I will say is that this thing is like a chaos machine. You can make some really amazing sounds or some chaotic sounds, but you can make almost all genres, like you can make hip hop. You can make house music. And you can make whatever this is. So considering that, let's get started. So first thing I want to do for you guys is just give you an overview of a uh, preset. So let's just play this bass groove. Pretty nice. So you can see it's triggering this sample up here. There's different slices. Um, the slices will correspond to these little meters here. And the next tab you have is this drum and bass where you can add a little bit of a synth bass or a beat. Third tab here of effects. The effects are actually triggered um, like on a sequencer rather than over the whole sound, which is truly innovative and can bring you some cool sounds. And then finally, there's this master control, which is we can do some tweaks over the whole sound. So I think the best way to show you guys in more detail would be to make a song together. So let's just get started. I'm just going to load an empty preset, and here we go in the slicer window. Um, there's plenty of sounds to choose from, and you can load them here. I think I'm going to load up uh, keys, and maybe let's go for the Rhodes cut. So you can preview a sample by hitting this play button here. So it's a very subdued and peaceful sounding piano. Uh, if you wanted to change where the cuts are, you could change the sensitivity knob here. So the more sensitive you make it, the more cuts are going to be triggered, and the less sensitive you'll have fewer cuts and bigger samples. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle, I'm just going to hit the dice, I'm going to start making a song. So you'll see that all of these are set to one at the moment. Uh, so if I play, it's just going to play that first sample. And you'll see that it's triggered it um, and it's playing a bit too long. So what I want to do is go to the main tab here, and they turn into monophonic slicer. What this does is that there'll be no overlap now. So every time it plays a new sample, it cuts off the previous one. So that's quite cool. So if I move one of these, you can see that now this is playing the seventh, the seventh uh, region. So that's pretty cool. What I'm gonna do is just roll the dice. That's kind of cool. I quite like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that one, and you'll see these different scenes down here. So I'm just going to paste it there just to save it, just in case something bad happens. But you can actually trigger an entire song using, um, using these scenes by arranging the parts. At the moment I've just got the one, and for the purposes of this video I apologize, I'm just going to keep it like that. But uh, you could actually trigger a, an epic song with multiple scenes over here. So let's keep moving, guys. Um, down here, we can add crazy pitches or adjust the attack and decay of the sample. So I'm just going to hit the, roll, the dice again and hope for the best. I don't really like it, so I'm just going to kill that. It wasn't meant to be. Instead, I'm going to move the pitch up here. OK, I still like that. And just to give you guys a refresher of where we're at, this is how it used to sound. So, totally different sound than it used to be. Over here we got this max out option. I think it's always good to max out, so I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. You can adjust the sample length here. That's kind of cool. It's a totally different sound to what we had. So let's keep moving, guys. I quite like that. So over here we have the bass and the beat. What I might do is uh, add in some drums. 
There's all kinds of uh, kits here. There's 10 different kits, and each of the kits has 32 different sounds for each, um, each sound. So there's 32 kicks, 32 snares, etc. So let's just add a kick drum. Okay. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to shuffle this again. Oh yeah, okay, that's better. I was starting to worry it wasn't good, but I think it's getting better now. Okay, so to add these samples, I'm just clicking in these boxes here. And uh, you can adjust the volume of these sounds here and change the actual uh, samples using this. Okay, let's keep that. And then maybe, is that a hi-hat? If you do a secondary click, you can have a, a different sound, which is quite cool. And then finally, you can add a bass. So the bass, it's got these different uh, note lengths. find the note of the... that's quite cool. I think in this new feature you can set it to major. I feel like this is a major song. I use the dice here and let's randomize the pitch. Let's do it again. Remember that the main rule with Egoist is that it's not finished until it sounds good and just have as much fun as you can. So I kind of like that. I'm just gonna Put a filter on that, turn on the resonance a bit, and so this uh, we're at the effects page now. And to get the effects working, you have to turn them on up here. So I got this rainbow. Uh, that means that the slicer has effects on it. I'm going to put effects on everything just so it's obvious when you're hearing it. And now let's get started. So I'm going to play the beat. One of the cool things about Egoist is you get live feedback from what you're doing. So it's nice to have the loop playing while you work. I hope it's not too annoying for you guys. So let's put a filter on that beat. Maybe just adjust the filter so it's... That's pretty cool. Totally different. Um, let's try out the, the tape stuff at the end. Pretty cool. Um, maybe let's have like a couple lo-fis. Let's do a loop. Nice. All right, so I could do this for hours. So what I'm just gonna do is hit the dice. That's pretty cool. So you can see um, without much effort, I've taken what was an electric piano loop and I've turned it into something quite different. So that's pretty fun. Okay guys, so I pretty I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save that preset and I'm going to call it um, Audio Plugin Deals Song. So one of the coolest things is that you can actually load your own sample. Even though there's plenty of samples uh, to choose from, sometimes you want to bring in something from from the outside. So I just try to get something that everybody knows well. The the Nokia ringtone. Nice. Right guys, so just wanna randomize this and then maybe randomize this. Let me randomize this a few more times. I'm gonna put it to monophonic slider and That's pretty unique. And if you just add a kick drum. Nice. And let's just try another kick. Let's try maybe mix kit. Nice. And let's put some effects. So I'm just putting the effects just on the slicer this time. And I think that works pretty well. There you have it guys, just with a few clicks we've made another track, um, it was really fun and you know it doesn't really bear any resemblance to the previous one. So today we've seen the power that Egoist has just to take a kind of a normal sound like a Rhodes piano or the Nokia theme song and just twist it into something totally original and new. So if you guys want to get a copy of this, just head over to Audio Plugin Deals and there's going to be a very significant discount so it's going to be really affordable. 
It's a great chance to get something truly creative that might give you an edge and give you some standout sounds that are pretty hard to make in any other way. I hope you guys liked this, and if you did, please hit like and subscribe. There's going to be heaps more videos coming your way, and I'll see you guys next time.